Time has come, so we would now like to start the briefing for the consolidated financial results for the second quarter ended September 30th, 2017. First, let me introduce the presenters today. Hitachi Limited, Mitsuaki Nishiyama, Senior Vice President and Executive Officer, CFO. Tomomi Kato, Deputy General Manager, Finance Strategy Division. Yasuo Hirano, Executive General Manager, Corporate Brand and Communications Division. So, Anishiyama would like to give the overview. Let me use uh, the slide presentation uh, title, Outline of Consolidated Financial Results for the Second Quarter, ended September 30th, uh, 2017. Uh, slide 1-2, uh, page 5. Uh, this is the summary of the consolidated statement. Uh, highlights are given on page 4, so if you could please take a look at both pages. I will stay on page 5 as I explain. Uh, in the second uh, uh, quarter, uh, on a cumulative uh, six-month basis, revenue was uh, 4.376.4 trillion uh, or 4 trillion 376.4 billion. That's 1% up year on year. Reorganization of the portfolio and forex fluctuation happened, so that excluded unadjusted. And uh, so considering that, a 4% increase. Adjusted operating income was uh, 303.2 billion. It was up by 70.4 billion yen, increase year on year. EBIT, 296.4 billion. It was up by 77.9 billion year on year. Now, net income at the bottom, net income attributable to stockholders, 160.6 billion yen, up 47.1 billion year on year. Uh, net income up 42 percent, operating income uh, 30 percent. And uh, structural reform and cost reduction proceeded uh, steadily. We have been able uh, to generate revenue and income. That is uh, the structure that we have. EBIT, operating income, and net income. In the first half, are record highs uh, for uh, the first half. Uh, One dash uh, three. This shows the factors affecting changes in revenues and adjusting operating income. On the left-hand side, a macroeconomic analysis of revenue is given. Uh, review of portfolio or impact of reorganization, 262 billion. Uh, Hitachi Transport, uh, Hitachi Koki, uh, and so forth. Uh, uh, the impact of uh, sales of these uh, subsidiaries. And foreign exchange, 100 billion yen impact. So excluding this, uh, business scale uh, ex uh, pension, 184.6 billion, uh, m and salary acquisition, Hitachi Chemical, Hitachi Construction, uh, and other m and uh, 85 billion yen a profit from that. Organically, 99.6 billion yen increase was seen. And on the right-hand side, adjusted operating income, Impact of reorganization, 27 billion. Foreign exchange, 100, uh, rather 15 billion. Excluding this, a profitability improvement, 82.4 billion. Included in this, uh, M&A, uh, 4 billion. And excluding that, pure organic uh, growth was uh, 70.4 billion. Moving on to the next page. Slide 1 4. Uh, this is by market or region, revenue by market. If you could uh, take a look at the breakdown ratio, Japan 48%, uh, outside Japan or overseas 52%. This is the split. And uh, last fiscal year it was 49%. It's up to 52% for uh, overseas. And year over year is on a far right, 95% for Japan, 106% for overseas. So impact of reorganization, impact of uh, forex uh, fluctuation exists. So excluding those factors, 100% uh, for Japan, overseas, not 109%. So 
up 9% for overseas. In particular, growth was seen in China, 113%, ASEAN, India, and others, 113%. China, uh, construction machinery, automotive systems, automotive parts, uh, Hitachi Chemical, uh, those businesses grew substantially in China. Other Asian countries, uh, Hitachi High Tech, Hitachi Kokusa Electric, uh, uh, Hitachi Construction, they all grew. Europe, 92%. Uh, it's down year on year compared to last fiscal year. Uh, that's because of impact of reorganization. Hitachi Koki was uh, restructured. Uh, that impacted, excluding uh, Fox fluctuation as well. It was up by uh, 5%. Uh, Koki restriction and other than that, Hitachi uh, construction and railway uh, are growing in Europe. Uh, One five. The next uh, slide uh, is a summary of the balance sheet and cash flow. Uh, total assets: uh, ten trillion, forty-two point three billion. So it was up by three hundred and seventy-eight point four billion year on year. In the second half, social infrastructure uh, inventory uh, is growing uh, right now. And uh, CCC cash conversion at the bottom, uh, it's improved uh, 72 days at the moment. According to our internal plan, it was uh, 77 days. So compared uh, to that plan, uh, there's been an improvement by five days as a result. Equity ratio, 31.3%, so 0.6 uh, point increase. A DE ratio, 0.29 times, it was flat year on year. Now, uh, at the bottom uh, to the right, cash flow uh, from operating activities, 278.4 billion. And cash flow from investment uh, activities, 234.4 billion. And cellular acquisition, uh, he and uh, other M and A's uh, free cash flow uh, was forty four billion. We were able to secure forty four billion, although there were some M and A's. One dash six and one dash seven gives a uh, uh, segment information. Uh, with the reorganization of the portfolio, uh, sales uh, uh, no longer comes uh, from a Hitachi uh, transport. Uh, s but other seven segments have seen a uh, revenue increase. Uh, just to highlight uh, the major changes uh, by segment, information and telecom systems, 1% increase year on year. Operating uh, income, 20.5 uh, billion in increase year on year. IT platform uh, products uh, had uh, seen effect of structural reform and uh, sales increase in high-end flash storage. On top of that, profitability improvement was seen in system integration business in uh, Japan, about 200 million. And EBIT, uh, uh, on top of adjusted operating income increase, uh, EBIT uh, uh, also increased uh, uh, more because of cost reductions and so forth. Social infrastructure and industrial systems, uh, it was uh, up by 1% in terms of revenue year on year. Uh, withdrawal from low profitable business in industry and distribution field, uh, but uh, a sales increase in railway systems business for the UK. There was acquisition of salary air business and industrial products uh, business. Because of these uh, factors, 1% increase and adjusted operating income uh, it was up by 17.3 billion year on year. Uh, increase in procurement cost and price decline in elevators and escalators business in China that was seen, but there was profitability improvement in industrial products business as well as improvement in power and energy business as well. Now moving on to 1-7. Here, the electronic systems and equipment is 96% year on year. Uh, this is uh, because of the sales of Hitachi Koki deconsolidation. On the other hand, Hitachi High Technologies and Hitachi Koksai Electric and semiconductor production equipment sales increased. So the business is strong. And the adjusted operating income, because of the following reasons, 
Uh, sales increase in semiconductor production equipment was bigger than the deconsolidation of Hitachi Koki factor. Now, construction machinery, uh, we are seeing the sales, overseas sales increase mainly in China. We acquired Bradkin and HE parts and positive foreign exchange impact, so up by 31% in revenues. Operating income was also an increase by 31.6 billion. Uh, next is 1-8. First is the high functional materials and components, 14% increase year over year. Uh, this is because of the sales increase in electronics and automotive related products and the acquisition of FIAM Energy Technology by Hitachi Chemical. So we had a big in increase. Uh, operating income also increased by 5.5 billion following the increase in revenues. Next, automotive systems. We had sales increase in China, Japan, and Europe. So it was 4% up. And with that, operating income also increased by 3.7 billion yen. Now, 1-9, smart life and eco-friendly systems. This is 96% year-on-year, down 4%. This is because of the change of the accounting to net basis revenue for part of the procured products in the overseas market. But operating income uh, enjoyed the effective cost reduction and effective structural reform, so it was up by 4.8 billion. And others, impact of the reorganization of Hitachi transport system, we had a decrease in others. Now, corporate items and eliminations, the EBIT is down by 32.1 billion yen year on year. This is because Hitachi uh, transport system. Uh, gain on sales uh, is not uh, recurring this year, and that's why this decline. Now, topics. Progress of Lumada business. Sales of Lumada business. The second quarter cumulative is 452 billion yen. Our forecast is 950 billion, so the progress to date is 48%. The plan was 44%, so we overachieved the plan. And uh, below, you can see we launched Hitachi Vantara, to, which leads the global expansion of digital solutions business. And with Daikin Industries and Toyota Motor Corporation, uh, we are utilizing Lumada. Uh, the collaborative creation is being expanded with our partner companies. Now, business strengthening towards growth. Uh, we completed the acquisition of the air compressor business, Sol Air business of Accudine Industries on July 12th. And Hitachi Chemical acquired a thermal insulation manufacturer in Germany and lead, uh, lead storage battery company in Thailand. Now, in business portfolio transformation, Hitachi Koksai Electric uh, commence the tender offer of the common share of Hitachi Koksai Electric. Hitachi Power Solutions concluded an agreement to transfer its forged steel roll business. And Hitachi Urban Support transferred its facility management business. Now, in page 2-1, we would like to explain the outlook for fiscal year 2017. First, the foreign exchange rate has not changed from the last time. So 110 yen to the dollar and 120 yen to the euro. Revenues, 9, 9 trillion, 300 billion, uh, which will be up by 250 billion yen. And adjusted operating income will be 660 billion yen, 30 billion yen up from the last forecast. But EBIT and net income The Hitachi Koksai Electric uh, transfer schedule will be extended, which we originally planned for third quarter. So EBIT and net income will remain unchanged. Now from slide two onward, let me just touch on the changes in the operating income. The big change is the electro electronic systems and equipment, Hitachi High Technologies and 
Yes, I have semiconductor is strong. So uh, 25 billion up in operating income and construction machinery up by 11 billion yen and information telecommunication systems and the high functional materials and com components and smart life and eco-friendly system will be up by 1 billion each. Corporate items and eliminations compared to the last forecast, EBIT will be minus 37 billion yen. But this is because of Hitachi Koksai Electric share transfer timing change that I explained earlier. So incorporating that factor, the operating income will be up by 3 billion and EBIT and net income will remain unchanged. That's all. Thank you very much. We would like to move on to questions and answers. So our staff will bring a microphone to you. So please state your name and affiliation before asking your question. Uh, any questions, please raise your hand if you have a question. Question. I have a question of uh, Mr. Nishiyama. There are two questions. Uh, Deutsche Siemens and French uh, Alstrom, uh, they have made an announcement that they're going to integrate their uh, rail uh, testing system. How, how would that impact uh, your consolidated uh, business? And how are you uh, going to uh, expand your railway uh, business? Because of Kobe Steel's uh, scandal, uh, uh, if you're asked to exchange uh, the Kobe Steel part used in your uh, product, uh, are you going to uh, make a claim to Kobe Steel to refund that uh, cost? Uh, well, uh, rail industries uh, consolidation uh, was to happen. I was expecting that. Uh, in the industry consolidation, if there is a chance, M&A, Business Alliance, if there are chances, opportunities uh, for that, uh, we would like to consider exploring such uh, opportunities. And, and so, uh, uh, from Fim Mechanica, unsolved STS signaling uh, and uh, operation control business and short term project. Well, we have acquired uh, these businesses, and, and so we need to uh, conduct a PMI so that we can generate synergies uh, from the businesses that we have already acquired. That is what we're proceeding with. And IoT platform Lumada can be leveraged uh, to provide maintenance services uh, to the rail uh, business. Lumada can be actively applied uh, to the railway business. That's what we would like to do so that we can differentiate ourselves uh, uh, from the rest of the market, uh, leveraging our capabilities. Now, Kobe Steel's a problem on that. Uh, we are conducting an investigation uh, on our own. What's going to be the likely impact? Uh, we're still investigating that. Do the parts need uh, to be replaced? Uh, is that necessary? Inclusive of that, we're considering there's nothing that is determined as far as how the cost is uh, going to be refunded or not. Any other questions? Question. Uh, in their financial results, I have three questions. First, in the first quarter, I asked the same question. Uh, compared to the uh, forecast, the operating income was up 20 billion. And there's also 25 billion uh, risk that you have not uh, used, that has not emerged. So what? how are you trending right now? And second question, in the first half, the net income is the record high, but operating income and operating income margin, how is the operating margin? And third, the cost ratio has it increased, improved dramatically from last year. So what is your forecast towards the end of the year? And next year, you have a target of 8% up, uh, up profit. So how are you progressing towards that? Answer, against our plan uh, for the six month revenue compared to our plan is plus 160 billion yen and operating income 40 billion yen plus. That's our forecast. 
as of today, the risks that have been incorporated are in operating income, 30 billion yen, and on operating, 30 billion yen. So total on an EBIT basis, 60 billion yen risk has been incorporated. Now, cost ratio. As of today, it is difficult to forecast the end of the year, but the cost ratio for the first half, the cost structure, gross margin ratio in the first half of 16, it was 26.1 first quarter. This year is 26.8, so it is an improvement of 0.7. SGNA first half 16 was 20.7%. First half this year is 19.8%. So this is, again, an improvement. So cost reduction, structural reform is showing fruit. And, uh, and the withdrawal and reduction of the low profitability business is now generating effect. So we are in an improving trend. And therefore, the 8% medium-term target. We are seeing the effect, the effect of the actions that we are taking towards this target. Question. So the operating margin uh, in 1990, it was 7.0%. So, so it is uh, the highest since then. What about the actual operating profit? Operating profit, absolute number and operating margin and EBIT and net income. Three numbers of record high. Any other questions? Question. Regarding Kobe Seal's uh, issue, I have a follow-up question. As uh, to the likely cost uh, uh, you are still investigating, well, Kobe Seal uh, is having a press conference as we speak uh, right now. Of, uh, out of 525 uh, uh, companies that they have supplied to, 437 have already confirmed uh, the safety of the parts that they have uh, uh, purchased uh, from Kobe S Steel. So what kind of uh, components and parts you are using from Kobe Steel, and to what extent have you confirmed the safety uh, of those uh, products? And as of 26th uh, this month, uh, Kobe Steel has inaugurated an external committee to investigate uh, the issue. So inclusive of uh, Kobe Steel, other parts manufacturers, or a final product, uh, uh, well, manufacturers uh, will have to uh, consider uh, the uh, uh, safety. So as to what uh, Kobe Steel is doing, or as to what Kobe Steel should be doing, do you have any demands uh, of them? Answer. Well, uh, for the products, uh, uh, that come within the preview uh, of the scandal. We're still investigating, uh, as I said, but let me share with you what we have understood so far. Data tampering, uh, products where data were tampered. What we know is that uh, bullet train uh, products and uh, high-speed uh, rail for the UK, that business, uh, and uh, some of uh, uh, the rolling stock uh, used for uh, commuter trains, and uh, a rolling stock for a bullet train as well. Part of it uh, did use Kobe Seal's uh, products. And uh, for the rolling stock, uh, the necessary strength uh, is uh, being confirmed. and. Uh, uh, all the final products uh, using their products uh, have passed uh, final inspection. So as far as safety is concerned, it's not affected. No problem. And uh, uh, designed uh, strength uh, for the rolling stock of uh, uh, Shinkansen or bullet train uh, has already passed uh, uh, the uh, inspection. Uh, but in consultation with the customers, if there's any need to replace uh, uh, those uh, parts and components or products from Kobe Steel, we will consider doing so. And for other uh, products of ours that may be affected, we're still proceeding with our investigation. Your second question, what are we going to do next or in the future? 
we're not in a position to make any comments about other companies, but uh, from Hitachi's point of view, uh, we are supplying products to customers, and we have to thoroughly uh, check and confirm the safety of our products that we supply. We have done so. We will continue to do so. SQDC is the order of importance. S is safety. Q is quality. D, delivery. C, cost. So SQDC, uh, we have to uh, state to the priority uh, of these uh, important aspects, and we will continue to do so going forward. Any other questions? Question. In Lumada Business Progress, I have one question. So you uh, announced the profit, but what is the breakdown? Which segment uh, is how much? Could you give us a breakdown? Answer. Not much different from the past, but in terms of segment, the information telecommunication segment, 80%, and the social infrastructure industrial systems, 20%. Others is minimal. Question. How do you expect the profit contribution? Answer. We have not announced that yet. SI business, core business, and other products business. It is very strongly related to these businesses, so we have not disclosed this yet. Thank you. Any other questions? Question. I have three questions I would like to ask. Number one, compared to three months ago, uh, what is uh, uh, the sense of uh, the business environment that surrounds you? Uh, what is uh, the sense that you have of the business uh, performance right now? And second question regarding Hitachi Kokusai Electric. Uh, it's uh, now under TOB. You may not be able to comment very much. It looks uh, rather difficult. Uh, uh, what's your take? Uh, it may be hard for you to forecast, but uh, uh, Given the need for reorganization of uh, Hitachi Group, uh, what's going to be uh, the uh, outlook? If it doesn't go well, what are you going to do? That's my second question. My third question is as follows. This is uh, something that I ask always, uh, sorry, about uh, nuclear power. Well, I would like an update on uh, UK nuclear uh, power business. And although it's not decided, I assume, uh, any government guarantee uh, for financing uh, or uh, back up in terms of uh, trade. If there's uh, uh, finance backup, uh, how much risk reduction will uh, Hitachi be able to enjoy? Is it going to be risk-free, or uh, will it uh, uh, give greater ease to you uh, to uh, proceed with the project? Uh, any impact from that? Answer, now, the business performance as of today, what's our sense? Compared to the first quarter, especially in overseas markets. And I think this is reflected in our performance. For example, Hitachi uh, construction, machinery, the infrastructure business that they're involved in. Uh, in each region, in each market, improvement is uh, a scene, and that is reflected uh, in the sales volume. And uh, China was a market that we were concerned uh, with, but. Uh, uh, construction as well as elevator uh, business because of the intensified uh, competition as well as the increase in uh, construction uh, material. It's tough, but uh, the number of uh, units we're selling is increasing. So uh, in China as well as other markets uh, overseas, I think our business has been robust. It's been improve improving. That is the sense that uh, we have. And here in Japan, one of the largest businesses is uh, information related. SI business is uh, very brisk. And uh, storage business, flash uh, storage, uh, is uh, doing quite successfully. So, t well, traditional businesses, some of that is down, but uh, it's been uh, compensated for by uh, these uh, businesses I mentioned. Overall, it's good. 
and uh, whether or not a business will continue uh, to be uh, successful in China or not, we need to continuously and closely uh, monitor uh, the business in China. And Kokusai Letter, uh, uh, well, uh, based on an agreed upon uh, agreement, uh, we're proceeding uh, with the agreement. So I would like uh, to refrain from making any speculations. And with respect to Horizon, the UK business, the Horizon project, uh, to share you what we can give you in terms of update. Uh, well, uh, the progress is as planned. Uh, that is what we can say at the moment. A, B, W, R, uh, location permit, GDA. GDA is in the final uh, leg. It's in step four. It's in the final stage. And uh, it is expected uh, to be completed in December as planned. Uh, with that, uh, what we filed in July uh, this year, uh, site license uh, for Wilva Newit. Uh, it is uh, to be acquired in 2018 as planned. And EPC for construction EPC, final investment decision, uh, which is uh, uh, a planned uh, further ahead uh, well, that will happen after FID um, uh, for solicitation of additional investment uh, for FID. We're engaged in uh, talks with a number of investors uh, right now. And your last uh, question, what you asked about is uh, uh, Nexi's uh, guarantee uh, for megabanks uh, loans. Well, we're not in a position to make any comments about what the government uh, may do. So such support uh, if such support is uh, forthcoming, project uh, can proceed. And uh, of course, uh, equity investment uh, prior to FID or prior to the start of the construction, that will reduce uh, our uh, stake. And so uh, in order for that to happen, we're engaged in talks with a variety of investors. And of course, that will facilitate our business. That will give greater ease to us in conducting this business. And uh, that will be conducive uh, to better risk sharing. Thank you. Question. I have four questions. First, domestic IT market, is it strong or weak from your perspective? And are you, is your business strong and weak? And please give us the reason too. Second is on Lumada business. You are progressing faster than planned. And what are the factors? And you have partnership with Daikin and Toyota. Uh, what are the what is the impact from this partnership? Third is the work style reform related question. In IT companies, uh, there are more orders related to work style reform. Uh, how much is this order pushing up your business or revenue? And if you could give us some specific services, thank you. And fourth. You have Lumada and you're promoting IOT very aggressively. Now, after AI and IoT, any new business like RPA? Any new businesses, new fields that you are working on? Thank you. I'm sorry for many questions. Answer. First of all, IT information. Is this business strong or not? I would like to explain this in two parts. First, SI business. SI is basically strong. This is mainly domestic financial business unit. Uh, the big one is the financial business unit and public sector and social infrastructure. I think we are capturing the order well, the financial business related Financial customers are now becoming global, 
And so we are helping their globalization efforts. And new fintech and other new areas are some other areas we are collaborating in. And in social and public sector, uh, this is strong too. Now, this is not the general uh, business environment. This is something we have to control by ourselves. But the SI business loss cost or the loss-making projects are reducing. <coughs> we are eliminating loss-making projects, another factor. Next is platform. Fitachi Vantara, which is the former Hitachi Data Systems, uh, this is taking the lead in this transformation initiative hardware will decrease going forward. So we are taking measures for that. And so we are doing some aggressive structural reform and seeing some good results from that. US side and Japan side are now narrowing down the developing products, development products. And we have been doing this for two years now and starting to see some results. Now, overall, flash memory storage using flash memory. Uh, we are moving to flash memory, and so software and hardware development and new model development are being promoted. And next is Vantara. Vantara is taking a lead. Uh, it will transform into a solution company. So this will be one of the platforms, one core platforms of Lumada business. So this will be promoted further. Next, uh, your question on Lumada. Uh, there are more use cases now, and we are seeing more inquiries from customers. And the representative example is Daikin, uh, the collaboration with Daikin. Uh, many deals are still in POC stage. So it, it will be a while before they start contributing to our revenue. We have various applications and solutions, possible solutions, like AI and big data analytics and, uh, and helping the customer's efforts in the work style reform, as you mentioned. We hope our platform could be utilized in the, all these fields. Uh, we have inquiries, more and more inquiries in uh, utilizing our products and services in the field. The full-scale contribution will be next year and onward. Question. Flash memory and uh, transformation. Uh, you're talking about in terms of uh, Vantara. Uh, of course, uh, we are a conducting part of development here in Japan. Thank you. Question. I have two points I would like to ask. Uh, question number one, just to clarify. Hitachi Electrics, uh, uh, Koksai Electrics, uh, T O B. Uh, it was planned in the third quarter, but it's uh, going to be delayed into 2018. Is that correct? Answer: Yes. Question. Well, EBITDA forecast was uh, left uh, unchanged. Uh, why was that? Answer: uh, Operating income forecast was uh, revised upward by 30 billion, but non-operating profit and loss. Uh, included uh, the sales proceeds of uh, uh, Hitachi Koksai Electric. Uh, however, there's going to be a delay. So it's going to be a pushback to uh, 2018. And uh, uh, so because of that, uh, uh, the sales proceeds will go down. Uh, however, the revenue and income from uh, Hitachi Koksai Electric uh, will continue to flow in. That is why. A question. One trillion yen uh, investment fund. Uh, how much of that uh, uh, is being uh, uh, used? I wonder. 
Uh, of course, it depends on the number of projects, but uh, if there is new project investment, how will you deal with uh, the fund? Well, answer. One trillion yen is not necessarily a budget that has to be expended. If there's no opportunity, we will not uh, draw from the fund or use the fund. Uh, and if there's a project uh, uh, that uh, could be larger than the fund, uh, we may decide to make an investment. So how much uh, remains in the fund or how much we have to use, that's not the question that is relevant. Well, products related uh, business uh, for that. Uh, uh, front uh, office uh, has to be strengthened. So, uh, together with the front uh, unit, uh, how are we going to connect with them uh, to deliver IoT and other solutions? That is a big theme. So, we would like to continue to execute and implement uh, as well as study the possibilities. Well, question How much have you spent? Uh, uh, well, a question about 300 billion. And question, uh, half of it is used by salary. The remainder, what is it? Answer, Hitachi uh, constructions acquisition or Hitachi chemical uh, projects and so forth. So last question, please. Question, I have a few questions. So revenue and operating income, uh, there was positive from the foreign exchange factor. Compared to your forecast, I think the big factor is dollars. In the main currencies, I ha would like to ask you, and right now yen is weakening. So does this change your full year forecast? That's my first question. Second question. Uh, this is about the joint venture in the thermal power generation. I think there was a mediation application application so on the financial basis will this change your numbers they think they are planning 300 billion yen the counterpart uh, if that is the case then the settlement is not within view so I would like you to elaborate on this third question M&A so you s used 300 billion yen so far by looking at the growth in the operating income, uh, organics 78.4 and M&A 4 billion. So organics growing very much. Uh, so M&A profit contribution is still small, of course, because you just bought them. But how do you foresee this? And in the 30, 300 billion yen, how much profit contribution, if you have numbers? Thank you very much. Answer. South Africa, question. Uh, this this led to arbitration, and this is uh, confidential, so I cannot go into detail. Now, we entered the arbitration, but not nothing changes because we started the arbitration. But I would like to refrain from giving you the details at this point. But in the arbitration, we will assert our own position and also try to settle this through negotiation. Next is the M&A's profit contribution. Uh, you said it, it's still small. The big ones are Sullier and the M&A by Hitachi Chemicals and Bradkin M&A. Those are the large ones, uh, which we paid a big amount of money for. The first year after acquisition, there are one-off costs, so the contribution is still small. And they were acquired in the middle of the year, so the contribution is small. But from next year onward, after we clear the one-off expense, I'm, I believe they will contribute greatly. Next, foreign exchange factor. How much change from the foreign exchange fluctuation, the forex sensitivity, sensitivity dollar uh, with one yen fluctuation, 1.5 billion yen fluctuation in operating income, and euro for one yen fluctuation, 500 million yen operating income fluctuation. That is our exposure to foreign exchange. 
question. With the current weakening yen, uh, will the foreign exchange uh, for assumption change, forecast change? Our current assumption is 110 yen to dollar and 120 yen to euro. So if yen weakens, there will be a positive impact on our forecast. Uh, it's now time to uh, bring uh, this meeting to a close. Well, thank you very much for uh, your attendance at Hitachi's uh, business performance announcement meeting. Thank you.